This is going to be the ultimate performance. FPS boost and fixed stutter guide for Fortnite in Season Awe. I'm not only about to show you all of the best registry tweaks, but I'm also going to show you the best F's booster tool in the best Fortnite settings. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Go to your Windows search Type hat. in the registry editor. Right click on hood and run as administrator. Until this window here actually opens up the next step guys. I want you to head to HQ local machine. Then you're gonna go down a little bit more until you can find software in here. You're going to find Microsoft. Open it up again and scroll all the way down guys. Until we can actually see here. Now Windows NT. Once we in we're here. We're going to open up as well current version. And in here now. We're going to scroll down even more until we can find. Image file execution option. And now let's start with the main twig pod. All you guys can do is directly onto Go ahead it. and you. And make sure to create a new key. This one you're going to name exactly Fortnite.x. This exactly a Fortnite is called a new taskmanger. So therefore, it's super important that you copy it one to one guys. Fortnite.exe. Once we in here, now we're going to open it up rightly onto it. And go again under new end key. And this time we're going to name it perf options. Just exactly like right on your own screen. Make sure that you copy everything guys. And now in here, it should now be actually empty. And once you're done here, now on the perf options, you're gonna make sure to select it right. Click in here. Go in the new. And then divert for two value. This one you're going to select, and you're going name to name it CPU Priority Class. Just make sure to copy it exactly like here. guys as showed. And once you get it in, yeah, you're going to double click onto it. Then you just gonna make sure to put the value data to free and keep it on hexavacimal and click OK. So guys, and in this next step, we're directly going to apply the next one, which is as well under Windows NT. It's exactly the same path, guys. So therefore, just only make sure that you go back. Then you to can it. see current version. Open it up again, and then we're gonna scroll down all the way, so we can find multimedia. And in here, we have system profile. What you wanna do is then here look over to system responsiveness, guys. There we have the it. registry entry. Double click onto it, and this one we're gonna make sure to put all the way to 16, and keep it still on hexadecimal. And this is all gonna improve your system responsiveness, resulting in less input delay and better performance while playing Fortnite. And now once you're done with you it, go also additionally going to open up now your system profile, guys. And then as well task which is in here as well until you can find a folder which is gonna be called games in here now we can see a bunch of options related to our gpu of our pc and there have we have as well gpu priority you gotta open this one up as well and then you can see the gpu priority value data is set to eight but we actually want to set it all the way down to six so make sure to keep it on hexadecimal and click under ok now we can already close our registry go to my website and download the fps boost pack the download link is in the description below follow my instructions for gaming optimization Install the Easy Game Booster program, and follow me for settings. So now this is the interface you see in. And to optimize your PCs you have to click this. Big button here all system tweaks here. So it has boosted my PC. There are many other options here. But you don't have to do those. These are extras, but this one will do all the job here. If this helped you guys, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Running the registry tweak for your RAM. First check your RAM status in task manager, then apply the registry tweak. Follow my instructions for gaming optimization. Execute all the registry tweaks to enhance gaming performance and FPS. Follow my guidance for optimizing your gaming experience. Now after doing this, go to Fortnite game settings. Here make sure window mode is full screen. And Vsync is set to off. Also the FPS limit should be one setting above your refresh rate. So my refresh rate is 1 o'clock, 65 so I'm gonna set it one above my refresh rate. So it's gonna be 180 FPS. Then just press on apply. And for rendering mode make sure it is performance mode. But you can also try Direct X12. Because some PCs actually give more stable FPS on the Direct X12. And for AMD GPUs, this case is also more likely to happen. So you can try out Direct X12. Especially if you have a AMD GPU, so yeah. Basically just play on preference. Or try out Direct X12. In the graphics tab, make sure brightness is 100%. And these are just personal preference. Now for the graphics quality, make sure everything is low. Some YouTubers tell you guys to decrease the 3D resolution. But honestly, even if you have a mid-spec GPU, it doesn't really increase your FPS. Even if you lower it, since Fortnite is a CPU-dependent game, you're mostly CPU-bound more than GPU-bound on Fortnite. So lowering this won't actually help a lot. Unless you don't have an actual DPU. If you have integrated GPU, this might help. But yeah, honestly, you don't need to reduce this up. Because you are definitely CPU-bound on Fortnite. 
Now just head over to the game settings. Then scroll down. And then make sure that NVIDIA highlights and peripheral lighting is turned off. Then again scroll down and make sure all the replays are also turned off OK. Once you do that, go over to audio. And then for sound quality, you can try low, but it actually doesn't make a lot of difference. Some people say it makes a huge difference, but it doesn't really make a difference at all. So I recommend you guys to put this at high. But yeah, so yeah, that's basically if with a Fortnite in game settings, you don't need to do anything else. There's no other way to get more FPS. Those are all the settings that you can actually do in game on Fortnite. So yeah. Alright, so those are basically all of the easy tweaks. Do boost your FPS in the new Fortnite AUG season also. I have found it easy to install and save software there. Does a lot of tweaks automatically and is also free. So if you want a video on that, let me know in the comments down below. So I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.